All right, the first five figures in a pattern are shown below. Each figure is made up of identical circles. So that figure one, two, three, four, five, so on and so forth. If the pattern continues, which expression can be used to find the number of circles that make up figure N? Well, they're using the letter N here, but what I'd like you guys to do is instead of using the letter N, I want you to use the letter X. We're gonna call this kid-friendly form. So we wanna put everything in kid-friendly form. And the reason why we're gonna do this is because we are going to let the calculator do all the work for us. And the last one here. Okay, so now we have each one in kid-friendly form. What we're gonna do is we are going to put each one of these equations in y equals, and we're gonna see which one matches up to the patterns that we have. Now, figure one, two, three, four, those are my x values. So if I do an xy table, figure one, two, three, four, five, so on and so forth. And then the number of circles, those are my y's. So you can see like one, two, three. And then here's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then we have one, two, there's four, 12, 13, 14, 15. So let's type in the first one here, x squared plus two x. So let's do this here, x squared plus two x. We're gonna go to the table. We're gonna see if we get this pattern here. So one, three, yes, two, eight, yes, three, 15, yes, four, 24. Let's see if there's 24 of them here. So I'm gonna count this quickly. One, two, three, four, five, six. So there's one, two, three, four, five. Five times six is 30. That's 31, 2, 3, 4, 35. That's figure five. Yep, we have 35 right there. And now let's look at figure four. There's one, two, three, four, five. So we're gonna count one, two, three, four. Four times five is 20. One, two, three, four, that's 24. And if you look, we get 424. So there's our answer. So anytime they don't give you the letter X and we're talking about one variable here, the letter N, change it to X and put it in the calculator let the calculator do the work for you. Okay, a city employee paints curbs in parking lots and replaces road signs. It takes 0.5 or half hour to paint a parking lot curb and two and a half hours to replace a road sign. The function below can be used to find C, the number of parking lot curbs, so C represents the curbs. We'll just write that there. And then if you keep reading, it says R represents road signs. So these are road, road signs. If the employee painted 20 curves, so what they're saying is if I took and plugged in the number 20 here for the letter C, or on that side of the equal sign, they want us to solve for R. How many road signs did he replace? We'll check this out. We're gonna write this in kid-friendly form. So instead of using the letter C, we're gonna use Y. And instead of using the letter R, we're gonna use X. So now, I'm gonna draw a little XY table here. They give us 20. 20 represents the curve or the Y. So the question is asking if Y is 20, what was R or the value of X in this case? So now that we have it in kid-friendly form, this is our kid-friendly form equation, we are going to use the calculator like we did on our previous example and have this calculator solve it for us. So we're gonna go alpha F1, we're gonna create a fraction here, so I'm gonna type in the top part, 40 minus 2.5x over 0 0.5. We're going to go to the table, and we're gonna look for y of 20. So right here, you can see we're gonna to have to scroll down, so when we see a value of 20 for y, the value of x is 12. Kid-friendly form. Okay, the slope of a line. So when we're talking about the slope of a line, I'm thinking in terms of y equals mx plus b. We're talking about this guy right there, the m. The slope of the line, of the line that passes through the points negative six w, we're missing that, and negative 10, four is eight. So they're telling me that this slope right here is one over eight. So they're asking you to find the missing value for w. So if we're talking in terms of slope and they give us points, and I've written that little piece of hint up there for you, we're gonna use stat edit. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take each one of these and we're gonna plug in for the missing value for W and see if we get an answer of one over eight. So let's do that, stat edit. 
Now, if you're not familiar with stat edit, stat edit is like this. They use L1 and L2, but L1 and L2, that's nothing more than just X and Y. So that's how you're gonna plug in your values into the calculator here. So L1, L2, L1, L2. So instead of saying X, Y, X, Y, calculator uses L1 and L2. So for L1, we're gonna do negative six, and then I'm gonna do negative 10. And then we're gonna plug in 36 here, and we're gonna use the corresponding value four. So let's do that here, four. So after we do that, we go stat calc. Now if you look at number four, you will see that number four, the calculator uses AX plus B. That's okay, calculator language is just saying that the value of A is gonna be the value of M, which is, we're trying to see if that slope is one eight. So let's see that here. So go down to number four, go all the way down to calculate. I get a value of eight, I need one over eight. That is not the correct answer. So now all we're gonna do is we're gonna do this again, but when we go into edit, we're just gonna change that 36 that we used, we're just gonna change it to 34. And we'll go stat, calc, number four. We're looking for a value of one over eight. One over eight is not 7.5, so we know that's not it. So let's do this again here. Stat, edit, this time we're gonna use nine over two. Now, if you don't wanna use nine over two, you can use 4.5 which is the same thing as nine over two, but I'll just put in the fraction here. Oops, let's just use nine over two. Maybe, nine over two. There we go. So now let's go stat, calc, number four. I get 0.125. Now I need to determine if 0.125 is that one over eight. So we can do 0.125 math we're gonna turn it into a fraction, and we get one over eight. Or you could have typed in one divided by eight in the calculator, and you got 0.125. So when you're talking about slope, stat edit if they give you the points. Which expression is equivalent to this guy? Whoa, that looks crazy. So you're thinking, okay, if I go back, I need to multiply this times this, and this times this, and this times this, and this times this, and combine like terms. But if you see the word equivalent, we can use so, and instead of using, we'll, let, we'll use M for this example. So I'm gonna pick a random number. I'm just gonna pick seven, and I'm gonna stow it to the value of M right here. So every time I hit the letter M in the calculator, the calculator is going to, that's not the letter M, the calculator is going to substitute seven for me. So we're gonna type this guy in and see what that value is equal to. So let's do that here. So. 2, alpha, m, so we're going to use parentheses, and there's the bell, 3 over 2, oh, we got a little typing to do here, that's fine, m, plus 1, it's taking me a little bit here, plus 3, and then we're going to open parentheses, create another fraction, 5 over 3, M, so alpha M minus two. We're gonna close the parenthesis. We're gonna get 190. So by picking seven for M and I plug it in and I actually do the math and let the calculator do the math, they get a value of 190. We wanna know which one of these gives me a value of 190. So I want you guys to go through, type this answer choice in, type this one in, type this one in, and type this one in, and see if you get the same value, the one that matches up not to 190 every time, but I could pick any number for M. I could pick 10 for M, and whatever number I get over here has to match up to the number I get over here. So I'll let you type that in and see what you come up with. Okay, which function is equivalent, just like the previous example? I want you to take and pick any random number, any number you want, and stow it to X, and get a number right here. Once you get that number, you're gonna type in each one of these just like you see it, and see if you can find out which one of those is equivalent to the number that you got here. Once you find that, you know you're right.